So in the last video, you learned about something called post routes. And I did say at the end of the video that you might learn about inserting into databases in this video here, but there is actually some stuff that we need to talk about before we get that far ahead when it comes to learning about Laravel. Uh, one of those things is learning about layouts because layouts is something that we use constantly inside a Laravel website, which basically allow for us to organize and structure our uh, pages in a much better way. So we don't repeat content constantly or just have a bit more of an organized website, so to speak. Now, layouts are one of those kind of things that might not make a lot of sense at the beginning here, but as you see it in action, when we start doing it just now, you know, it, it's going to make a lot of sense. So I think the best way to do it is just kind of jump into it here and you can see what I mean. So in the last video, we created a home.blade.php file and inside this page, we just had a basic head tag, you know, just like the, the top part of a website. And inside our body tag, we just had a basic h1 tag with a form that you know submitted some data to our post route from the last episode there so we have some basic contents and if i were to go inside my web.php file you can see that the home.blade.php file is my front page because i did actually set it up here as my get route for the front page right so layouts is basically a way for us to structure content inside our pages across multiple pages by only needing to create the layout in one place. So a similar example of this is if you do just basic PHP, you know, without Laravel or anything like that, but just raw PHP, then you may know about splitting, for example, the header and the footer of your website into other files and then linking to those files in order to have the header gathered inside one file because you might have 10 pages inside your website. So if you have a, you know, a full page inside all the pages that you have inside your website, that means that if you make one change to the header, you're going to have to go inside all the 10 pages inside your website and make a change to the headers inside all the pages. And that is a lot of double work that you have to do. So basically we take the header out, we put it inside a header.php file, we link to that file, and then basically to change the header on all the pages inside your website, you just need to change it inside that one file. That is something that most people know about from just basic PHP. Uh, this is a little bit similar to that. So at least <laughs> that's the best way I can compare it for people to understand what layouts are. Uh, so what we're going to do, we are going to go inside our views folder and I'm going to right click, create a new folder. I'm going to call it layouts. And inside my layouts folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this one main.blade.php. It, it's just a naming thing. You know, you could call it something besides main. Maybe you want to call it default. Actually, default would might be a little bit better. So we say default dot .php. And this is going to be our default layout for our pages inside our website. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And it's just going to be a blank page without anything inside of it. So going back inside our home.blade.php file, let me just alter this a little bit so it makes a little bit more sense with this tutorial here. Uh, so inside my body tag, might create a header tag just so we have a header section. I could say we have an H2. This is the header, just so we have something. And I might create a main tag so we have the main content of this page here. I'm just going to take everything from inside uh, my body tag down here and just move it inside my main tag. So now we have a header, a main tag, and let's also go ahead and include a footer and say this is the footer, okay? This is basically creating a layout for us because, okay, so inside this page, inside the body tag, we have the header at the top, we have the main content in the center, and we have the footer at the bottom. And on many of my pages inside this website, it might be the exact same way. So instead of having to repeat the footer, the header, and creating all this, you know, like everything that is up here as well, like instead of creating all of this inside all the pages inside my website here, I can put it inside a layouts file. So I'm going to copy everything. So I'm going to copy it, go inside my layouts file, paste it in. 
And I'm going to say, okay, so what is going to stay consistent? Like what is going to stay the same on all the pages inside my website here? Well, my head part up here is going to stay the same. So that's not going to get deleted. Uh, I might have the content inside my header elements down here because the header content inside these elements here might change depending on the page. So let's say this is my front page. Then I could say front page. And then maybe on my contact page, it's going to say contact page or something. So the content may change inside the header element. So I'm going to delete this one. And instead, I'm going to include a tag that is going to have some sort of name that I can then reference to inside my other views files to be put inside our views folder, which are the ones we've learned about so far. So inside my header here, I'm going to say at yield parentheses, and then inside the parentheses, single quotes, and then I'm just going to give it some kind of name. This could, for example, be header. Then I'm going to copy it and I'm going to say, is there anything else inside this page here that might change depending on the page that I'm inside of? Well, in this case here, uh, inside my main tag, because this might not be the same on all the pages inside my website. So I'm going to delete it. And instead, I'm going to call this one main content just to give it some kind of tag. Again, you can change this. You could call it this. You could call it that doesn't really matter. It just needs to be something that makes sense to you, right? Again, inside my footer element here, I'm just going to copy paste. This might be different too on all my pages. Again, typically inside the header and the footer, it's not going to be different, but let's just say for this example, here, it's going to be different. So I'm going to call this one footer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside my home .blade, the PHP file. And now we basically don't need this, we don't need this, which is also my ending main tag. We don't need the footer tags and we don't need the ending here. This is all we need inside a home that blade, the PHP file, because this is actually the content that is going to change on all the pages inside my website, at least inside the home that blade, the PHP file. So how do we link this to our layouts file? Well, what we need to do is, first of all, we need to actually say, well, which layout are we using for this particular page here? And right now we just have one layout file, which is called default.blade.php. So at the very top here, I'm going to say at extends parentheses, single quotes, and then I'm going to type in the name of that particular file. So in this case, it's going to be default.blade.php. Actually, it's going to be layout.php default because then it means that we're going inside the layouts folder and we're finding the default .blade, the PHP file. Um, so this is how we link to it. So if we were to do this and then go down and say, well, okay, so what is going to go inside my header element? So if we go back to layouts file, you can see that we have a yield header, which means that we need to tell it that this H2 element here is going to be the content for the header element, right? So what I can do is I can create another at section parentheses, and then inside we're going to say single quotes. And this is going to be the header that we created inside that yield. And then right below it, I'm going to say at end section, which is basically going to tell it that the header section here is going to end here. So everything in between is going to go inside the header. Right. So we can do this again with our other content down here. So I can paste in this again. I'm going to change this one to what did we call it? Uh, main content. So I'm just going to copy paste main content. And then we're just going to have all the main content, which is right here and move it inside so we can actually have it inside tagged as the main content. Then we can do the exact same thing. We can copy paste go below here. Then we're just going to copy the footer content inside the last one and call this one footer. So doing it like this, all of a sudden we have a lot less content inside our home.blade file because we do actually have a default layout that is being reused inside all the pages that uses this particular layout here. So if I were to go ahead and make sure that I have everything running for my application, uh, I can actually go into my console inside my terminal here. So I can say new terminal 
and we can actually run our development server so we can actually see uh, this website in action if it does actually work because oh what if it doesn't uh, so i'm going to say npm run dev so npm run developer server so if we do that it's going to load up our it's i learned that it's not called vite it's actually called Vite, <laughs> which is a little bit different uh, but i can actually go ahead and go in and visit my website and as you can see when we load up the website here we do have this is the header we do have the home tag we do have the form and we do have this is the footer i know it's not styled but we do actually have the content showing inside our front page inside this website here it's not giving us any errors so even though we took everything apart and split it into you know different files um this has now been a thing where we can you know create a layout and change the content but still use the same layout so again going inside our views folder here just the main folder i can right click i can say create new file and then i can say well let's create a contact page so we're going to say contact dot blade dot php i'd like to make sure we spell that correctly contact so now I have a new page inside my website. And instead of creating the entire thing again with the head elements and all that stuff, I'm just gonna go ahead and reuse everything inside home.blade.php. Let's actually close the terminal down just so you can see everything. I'm gonna go back into contact, paste everything in. And I'm just gonna change the content inside these different tags that I created here. So this is the header that might stay the same, you know, it doesn't have to change. Uh, I could also say this is the contact page. Again, spell that correctly, there we go. And I might have something else. So I might have some contact information here. This might be an anger tag with, you know, maybe an email, you know, so again, just some different content there. So I could save this and then if I were to go ahead and go inside my web.php file and say, if I were to actually visit my contact page, so we say forward slash contact, we want to load up the contact file. So if we go back inside the website here and I say forward slash contact, you can see that it loads up the contact page. We still have the same layout, but now we have, this is the contact page. I have my email which was the anchor tag I created. And again, the same footer here. So all the content is still here. There's no errors, but we're basically just using a layout template in order to change some of the content inside that layout file. Again, so we don't have to create or recreate the same code on many different pages because you know it might repeat itself again and again and again. So we can then change it. Now, there is also, of course, something else we can do, which is a little bit more similar to what I talked about with the PHP example, where you might require or include another file, for example, a header file. Um, so let's say I were to go in and let's say I have a specific menu inside this website that might be shown on some of the pages that has this particular layout here. Uh, what we can do is I can go inside my views folder, just like before, create a new file, and I'm going to call this one menu, actually side menu might be better. Side menu dot blade dot PHP because this is a side menu. It might not be on all the pages inside my website. Um, so what I can do is I can go inside and say, well, the side menu should appear inside my home dot blade the PHP file, but not inside my contact page because I don't know, because I decided so. Um, so instead of including that inside our template or our layouts file, I might just go inside my home.blade.php file and say I want to include a certain file in here. Uh, so if I were to go back inside my side menu, I'm just gonna create, I don't know, just an unordered list, uh, just a list item and without anchor tags or anything, I'm just gonna say list item one and then I'm just gonna go ahead and copy paste this down like so, list item two this item three, there's a quicker way of copy pasting, I know. Um, so now we just have some basic content here that might be a side menu inside our website, right? Um, so I can go inside my home.blade.php file and say, well, okay, uh, inside my header, which is up here, I might include this particular side menu. So I can say instead, at include parentheses, go inside of here, single quotes, and say I want to include the side menu. 
And doing this, I'm going back inside our website. So if we were to load it up here and refresh the page, I'm just gonna go back to my front page. As you can see inside my contact page, it's not showing right now, but going back inside my front page, you can now see, oh, we have a list item inside the header. And that is because I just simply included another file inside my pages here. And now at this point here, you might argue, why not just create a header.blade.php file and a footer.blade.php file and just say, well, I'm gonna use this include tag in order to include the footer and the header inside all my pages inside my website. Uh, you could do that. Um, but again, if you want to make a change that occurs to much more of a broader layout part of your website, then creating a layout file is gonna be much more powerful when it comes to that sort of thing. Uh, if you just have a single standing element like a header, uh, you could of course include that inside a header file and then link that inside maybe your layouts file because you can also do that. Um, you could take this include here and just cut it out. Let's actually just load up the website here again. So now I can see it's gone. Uh, and then maybe go inside your layouts file and say it has to be included inside this layout here inside all the pages that use this layout here. So uh, as you can see, we have the header element and then we also include the side menu. So even though we're linking to particular header elements inside our views file, uh, it's still gonna include the side menu inside all the pages using this particular layout, right? So if we were to save this, go inside my website here, you can see, oh, now it's included again. But if I go inside my contact page, it's also included here because it's inside the layout file. So it gives you a lot more customization when it comes to including different content into certain pages and using a layout or just including single standing uh, files inside particular other files. Um, <laughs> I hope this is making sense. You create one layout file for a bunch of pages inside your website, and then you can create single sending files and include those here and there wherever you want to include those files, right? Um, so with that, that is basically what I wanted to teach in this episode here, just basically how to create a layout and how to create just single standing content you can then include inside either those layouts or just other pages inside your website. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.